Well, hey there guys, and thanks for tuning in to an all new Ed's Retro Geek Out. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at my carded TMNT figurines. This is one part of the collection that you did not get to see in my 2020 room tour because they were, you know, tucked away behind some other collectibles. I got two big boxes of basically stuff I've been stuffing in there for the past two years. So there's even some carded figures in there I probably don't remember I have. So I figured it was right about time to really take a moment and check back with all these figurines I got in these two big boxes right here. Let's take a close up look. Hey, yeah, we're kicking things off with this first figurine, a foot soldier. This is one I owned as a kid and it's pretty much the golden rule I live by when I buy these carded figurines. I'm only trying to focus on getting the ones I owned as a kid because otherwise, well, what is there? There's like 300 carded figures out there. To kind of like not go crazy on spending money on carded figurines like these, I, I kind of just stick to what I had as a kid, but obviously when there's a good deal out there, uh, I'm not going to pass on it. I'm going to add it to the collection. So this was actually a very nice, a very nice condition foot soldier. And I was really glad to add this one. Definitely having it in a blister because not all of my figures have blisters. I like to keep all the ones that I think are kind of special in one of these blisters though. So yeah, here we got Raphael. Not one I owned as a kid, but I had to get all the main turtles, right? There's a little smudge thing over there, but overall it's pretty good. Not a 10 back or anything. This one is neater, so yeah. Neither of these are, are 10 backs. I don't think I actually own one, but they are unpunched. And of course we got another one of the brothers. This is Leonardo. Yeah, good, great. Cowbunga, dude. So pretty nice condition on that one as well. Then we got Donnie hopping in. Loved Donnie as a kid. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it looks like the arm is kind of like a, a different shade of of brown right now. It, it seems to to have like something to do with the oxygen getting to it or or not getting to it, making it kind of like uh, making the plastic melt. I'm not sure what that is about. But if you know, leave it down in the comments below. This one is actually a 10 back, so that's pretty nice. Didn't know I had a 10 back. And then of course the brothers wouldn't be complete without Michelangelo. This one is equally awesome. Also, I'm I'm not sure which one I owned as a kid first, but it'd be either Donatello or Michelangelo. So this Michelangelo is also a 10 back, and it, and it also has the same issue of the limbs not, you know, uh, getting enough oxygen and kind of like getting messed up, unfortunately. Then we got another one of my newer ads. This is actually Storch Shell Donatello. One I didn't have as a kid, but it was for a very good price. And this is one of the lines I want to complete. Sometimes, you know, we have like the four turtles, they'll they'll add a gimmick to them. Like this, these ones are the Storch Shell. As you can see on the front over here, the shell opens up and you can, you know, stuff weapons in there, which is really cool. So I think I need one more to complete that subline and then you know I'll, I'll, I'll be kind of done with it <laughs> last one of the toys that is in a blister I should probably like invest in some more blister bubbles to really keep them safe this is Mugen Man one of my favorites ever if you see my top 10 TMNT action figures you probably know this guy is really high on the list this guy is unpunched it's getting to be a pretty sought after figure right now so yeah all of these, by the way, are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cards, so we haven't really hit any of the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtle cards that you're going to see over here in Europe. Next up, we have some of the Adventurer Turtles. These are a later release. As you can tell by the back, you know, there's already lots of, <laughs> of other ones on there. But uh, yeah, all of these actually featured some kind of a backpack, which allowed for some water to be shot out. So yeah. Kind of like the sewer spitters, but you know, with a gimmicky action figure to come along with it and a coin. So this is Safari Michelangelo. We also have Arctic Donatello. Love this guy. He looks pretty cool. He came with a penguin. And we also got Deep Sea Diving Leo. 
<laughs> most people were commenting like, dude, that sculpt of that head is just terrible, but hey, he comes with an octopus, so, I mean, it's all cool. It's all good, and plus, he, he comes with, you know, the hat, you know, submarine hat, so, it's all fun, it's all fun, you know? So yeah, these are getting way harder to find, apparently, although you, you are gonna come across them a lot more on the card. It's actually the loose figurines complete that are going lots of bucks, almost as much as, as the card ones, so yeah. People are actually starting to buy them and then opening them up. They're not in the best shape, but they're good enough for my collection, so that's why I wanted to have them. And these are all three of the adventurers in the series. So yeah, here we go with one I did have as a kid, one I loved as a kid. This is Raphael the Space Cadet. This is part of the Undercover Turtles, uh, wherein you had, you know, Samurai Leo, you had Undercover Donnie, and you also had like a surfer dude, Michelangelo, you know, so. That's always fun. So you had Don the Undercover Turtle, you had Ralph the Space Cadet, Mike the Sewer Surfer, and Leo the Sewer Samurai. This was a pretty fun subline. One I did like as a kid, and I definitely need to have this one on the card. There's also, you know, some people that only collect the brick back. What they mean by that is, you know, the card the cards that actually have the bricks in the back and they also come with you know some really cool added uh, artwork on the card so it's always nice remember this one dudes this one is heroes in the half shell it's mondo gecko but it's the bootleg version this was actually a gift from nicholas actually put me in contact with the guy who was selling off the adventurer turtles and some other stuff so he kind of like threw this in for free. This is a bootlegged Mondo Gecko. I had seen the turtle bootlegs before, but never like a side character. So this is actually pretty cool to own. Terrible quality on the artwork, but still a cool piece to have. Unfortunately, <laughs> really crushed. Then we got another 10 back. This is actually the first card figure I bought. I was over at a Comic-Con and they had an O'Neill. An April O'Neill. I did not own April O'Neill. O'Neill as a kid and I remember thinking I, I need to have an April O'Neill you know to have like the cartoon cast complete so I was like how much is this one I think I ended up paying 10 euros for this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles O'Neill and yeah that was my first venture into carded TMNT figures then I was fortunate enough to meet a guy online who was selling off basically one of these, but he ended up having a ton of these TMNT movie tree toys. Even though these are not the ones I owned as a kid, I actually owned Raphael, Leonardo, and Donnie. This was one I wanted as a kid. Um, so I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna grab these. The price was totally awesome on these. I, I paid around eight euros each for all of these, and this definitely bumped me back to that one summer vacation where we would, you know, go to the grocery store every week and we pick up, you know, a turtle. So yeah, this is the one that got away back in the day, but now I have it on card. Cards are a bit wavy, so yeah, the price probably reflected that. And he basically had all of, you know, the side characters. So this is Movie 3 Kenshin. We also have another April O'Neil. Yeah, not screwed on that one. <laughs> we got one of the main bad guys. This is the movie tree warlord. Isn't his name, his name like or Orinaga or something like that? I think I should probably do like a, 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 a video on how to appreciate TMNT Tree, the movie. Because, I mean, I love that movie and it, it, it just gets such a bad rap. So this is the Princess Mitsu. Yeah, pretty nice card. Just... <laughs> Like, pretty nice condition apart from the cart really waving. And then we have Movie Star Splinter or Movie Tree Splinter, which is basically a repaint of the Movie Star Splinter. He also came with some cool accessories over here. Some of the accessories are new to the first uh, edition of the TMNT Movie Stars that kind of like coincided with the first and the second movie so his Claude got you know some extra wear on it he got a repaint he didn't have flocking this time around but yeah it's cool it's cool to have this one over here we got an ace duck on the card 
uh, card is a bit ripped, so the bubble is kind of, you know, messed up, but still good, you know. I I never really uh, thought about only getting, you know, prime pieces in my collection. I thought, you know, whatever I can get for a good price and to have just the figurine complete and, you know, get to appreciate the art that is on these pieces, that, that will just, you know, help that will just be enough for me whenever I find like a really great card I can of course upgrade it and I'll sell off these for a good price to whoever wants to get those I would have loved to have some of that ooze that they're that they're promoting on top over here some of that ooze uh, I need one of them ooze canisters so yeah ace duck then we actually have some of the re-releases these are on the purple cards like this every single one of them got the same purple card you got Casey Jones with this extra sticker indicating that he's one of the good guys and Krang with a foot soldier sticker indicating he's one of the bad guys these were actually uh, kind of thrown in to cut down on the shipping costs uh, for my two giant baddies I got Bebop and Rocksteady the giant baddies and this was kind of like I also have these uh, you know I don't have them let's just throw them in and then you know shipping won't be such a big uh, such a big pain to, to overcome and yeah that's kind of the way it was so yeah these are you know at, not at the end of the line but you know just re-releases as you can see a lot of figures were already out by then on the back of this card you can see you know the division and the good guys a lot more good guys than there were bad guys out there Casey Jones and Krang. Krang is such a cool figurine like this, I think. Also, these came with like an exclusive TMNT collector card. So yeah, never really got into collecting those. Then I got some beater cards. <laughs> these are actually both of these I owned as a kid. So uh, I think one of these I got over uh, when I was like four or five years old when we went to Mallorca, which is like an island off the coast of Spain. Uh, yeah, always loved Raphael. This dude, this, this sculpt is amazing. So again, these are the storage shell turtles. These are the ninja ones. They don't have that extra thing on uh, the front to indicate that, uh, like, they don't have like the extra picture. This one doesn't have the extra picture on the front over here. This one does. This one is actually like maybe a, it's really weird. This might be a later release. This one does have, you know, that, that picture indicating that it's a storage shell. This one doesn't really say anything on the card. So it's kind of like a mystery to me. Maybe they reused the card or, or not. It's, it's, it's a mystery, but you know, they're beater cards. So if I end up upgrading them, I might sell these off or I might just open them up. I'm, I'm not sure. And then over here, we got one more of the, of the, this was also in that lot I was talking to you guys about before. We got a Bebop on card, again, with the purple background. Pretty sweet. Then we have another one of my childhood favorites. This is Spike and Volley Donnie. This is, again, one of those water squirters I was telling you about. So he basically has a backpack that you get to fill up with water, and then he squirts. He's one of the sewer-spitting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Awesome. The card is, like, way bigger than the other cards. I don't know if you can see that. So, yeah. It's like... You see that difference, right? So, yeah. Pretty cool. Lots of artwork on there. Lots of, you know, dedicated artwork. Just gotta love it. Just got to love it. Squirts up to 48 inches. Hmm. These are the bodacious birthday party. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is Crazy Clown and Mikey. I, I like that, you know, uh, when, when you pull his, his feet, you know, there's like extra <laughs> There's like an extra set of legs that comes out that you know enlarges the figurine, which is pretty neat I actually have this thing complete uh, The only one that is missing is Donatello. He didn't get a release in this subset and I was able to get this from Nicholas as well So yeah, I do lots of like buying off of just other collectors uh, if, if they want to give me a good deal, I, I surely don't mind these cards are in excellent condition as well so here we got Classic Party Reptile Leo. He actually has a tutor or like a, a flute kind of thing on the back making a squeaky noise whenever you get, you can like pull that thing out and just 
go go crazy on it. Noise making sewer party star with amazing built-in mutant noise maker. It makes like a burp sound, something like that. This is one I loved as a kid as well. Um, this is the magnificent Raph. He's a magician. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, there's like a bunny coming out of his hat and stuff. Love it, love it. Like even the weapons. Uh, so there's like flowers coming out of this. So you can actually do a magic show with this figurine. And again, lovely artwork. And then this is a figurine that my nephews actually owned. This is Dirt Bag. It's one I wanted as a kid so badly. I do have him complete loose now, but I just wanted to add this dude on card as well so yeah my buddy stockman collection hooked me up on this one because he had a double and yeah love it it looks it looks amazing and then the last thing in the toad right here is the the mini mutants turtle top play set this is actually something i bought off of marked plots which is the you know online um offer up Thing for Holland <laughs> it appears that this one was like really stretched and already open but I didn't pay a lot for this so I was like yeah I'm basically buying to get this thing complete loose uh, but I do get to enjoy the artwork so yeah that's pretty cool uh, some of the later releases were you know lots of these Mighty Max Polly Pocket inspired things by the turtles and this was just one of those that, you know, was baseball related. So you'd have a whole baseball field over here. Uh, you can play baseball, and, you know, have the turtles do a little tournament, I guess. So yeah, these came with the mini figures that everybody's looking for right now. Totally tubular, totally awesome. So yeah, guys, I hope you're enjoying the show so far. We already ducked through one box. What do you think is going to be in the next one? Be sure to leave down in the comments below which card figures triggered the most nostalgia for you. Let's open up box number two. What's going to be in here? Box number two starts us off with another April. So yeah, April, uh, this one is the later release. You do see some... Uh, you do see that this is a variant from the first April. This one has more orange on the figurine. And yeah, this is like supposedly a 10 bag, but it's one of the re-releases on the purple background thing right there. The reason I picked it up is because it was probably pretty cheap. Ooh. Ooh, guys, this is one of my favorites. This is the Movie Star Foot Soldier. Loved this guy as a kid. I literally played with it till it was broken. Um, so yeah, none of my foot soldiers from when I <laughs> was a kid actually survived. They, they all had, you know, limbs missing. And this guy was going at Toys R Us for $3.99 back in the day. So that's pretty cool to see. Loved the movie star. I really loved the movie star toy line when it came out. I only got this dude and the turtles no actually i think i always got everything apart from two turtles honestly um yeah i was just going crazy for for these and for the movie so yeah this this is definitely one i love owning and here is one of the movie star re-releases this is movie star super shredder on this blue and green card i already had you know stuff out like half court and sandstorm um, this was kind of like a re-release, but nothing too fancy going on. I totally loved the Super Shredder, so had to get this one on card as well, because I owned it as a kid, and it looks cool, doesn't it? It looks freaking amazing. Here we have it. Now, this figurine is pretty cool. Um, I owned this one as a kid because my little sister, she was doing like a ballet thing. And they had like some sort of a bingo thing going on. So you would get like a cart with a number on it. You'd have to pay. And um, actually my number got pulled out. And this was the figurine I got. So on the prices, wouldn't you know, there was like one turtle toy in there. And I actually won the turtle toy. So I got a movie star splinter back in the day. Love seeing this again. This definitely brings back memories. I should, you know, invest in getting all those movie star ones. Talking about movie stars, joining us today is one of the universal movie stars. This is Mike S. Frankenstein. Don't have this one loose, but uh, yeah, I do have them on card. These are getting pretty hard 
to come by these days. Lose, they all have some glow in the dark functions. So yeah, these were fun. This is the first one. Uh, later on you had other releases which are way more sought after than these first Universal Monster releases. Um, but yeah, I don't own those. I think I do own this complete set first. So yeah, over here you get to save $3 on your next visit to the Universal Studios in Hollywood, Florida. Coupon is inside, right there. Right there. Three bucks off. We, we could go. I mean... If anybody's up for it, leave it down in the comments below. Who wants to go? Because I, I got a couple tickets like that. So over here you can see the Universal ticket in there. This is Raph as the Mummy. Uh, lots of glow in the dark on this one. Definitely a cool one. <laughs> Definitely another cool one to own. And look at that. That card art on the top right there. Returning with another Universal Monster. This is Leo as the Wolfman. I love the sculpt on this one. Love all the little textures of, you know, the werewolf skin. That glow in the dark function, again, is just out of this world. I love it. Love it. And lastly, I got Donnie as Dracula. This is one I owned as a kid. Loved him. Uh, also had that glow in the dark function. And I vividly remember, you know, whenever I got a toy as a kid, I would put it on my bedside uh, that night, you know, to be like, the first thing in the morning I would pick up was this toy. So he was initially at $4.99 and also came with that coupon, you know, he, Basically, you paid $1.99 for this one because you saved three bucks on your next visit. I mean, I got four coupons right here. Who wants to go? So, yeah, um, all of these Universal Monsters also came from uh, Stockman's collection. He had a ton of doubles uh, for this. I actually traded some G.I. Joes for, for most of these, so that was definitely a good trade for me. I don't know why these guys get a bad rap, but I love the sculpt on these. These were the Pizza Tossin uh, Turtles. Uh, both of them at like, what is it, four euros? Is it four dollars on there? I don't, I'm not sure. These were pretty epic. I remember getting one of these for my grandpa. Uh, I'm hoping to complete this, This I'm hoping to complete this set because I actually owned Raphael back in the day. Obviously this is like the pizza drawer vehicle turned into turtle form and these turtles were humongous compared to the other ones. They're kind of in need of a bit of exercise. They maybe need to go to the fitness, but you know, um, they eat so much pizza. So that's, that's where that came from. So as you can tell, I got Bolt Leo and Pizza Tossing Dawn. Really big bubble on these. Pretty nice. Love the artwork again on these. Just check that out. Check out that artwork. Freaking epic. Then we got another Universal Monster. This is Bride of Frankenstein April. Yeah. So this is part of that second line of the um, Universal Studio Monsters. You had April. You also had Michelangelo as... I'm not sure what he is. <laughs> as like some sea creature. As like a sea creature. You had Black Lagoon Donnie or sea creature Donnie. And you had the invisible Mikey. Which is pretty epic so yeah i'm hoping to find the other ones to this but these are getting really pricey uh for sure for sure next up we have ray fillet this guy i loved as a kid i remember getting him over at the grocery store uh card is you know a bit waved a bit not in the best condition but i mean i love this guy I have so many good memories about owning this little dude as a kid. I love that he came with the little starfish right here. Look at that little sculpt on that little face right there. That's cute. Ooh, I actually have one, a double. So yeah, this is an R Splinter uh, movie. And as you can tell, it's, it's kind of weird. You know, Toka and Razor, they were released on Brick Backgrounds. This one too. Now this is a Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles card, so this is the way uh, I guess some of them were released in Europe also for the French audiences. You had the Torte Ninja Yeah, this one isn't in the best shape um, But yeah on, on the back you can see what stuff was out there. You had the military line the movie stars the bodacious birthday sewer spitting Turtles and of course the mutations So pretty nice to have this variant in the collection just to have you know an extra piece Talking about the sewer spinning turtles, here's my lifeguard Leo. Not in such a great condition as the last one, but nonetheless, uh, yeah, I think I already have two of these. But actually has some Chinese written on top over here. Not sure what that is about, but yeah, love it. 
Love it. Really cool figure. Again, amazing artwork. Check out that artwork. Check out that artwork, people, and leave a thumbs up. Love this guy. This is Wingnut and Screw Loose. So yeah, this is one of those. This is one of those baddies that actually came with their extra sidekick character. Wingnut is obviously like a throwback to Batman. He's got the Batman utility belt. He's got bat wings. Yeah, love that brick artwork on top over there. They were always done, you know, for each individual figurine. And yeah, over here, they were kind of like running out of places to put new turtles coming out. So they put the wacky action ones on top in the blue there. Then I got a Splinter. This is probably the, the only first release of Splinter I have in the collection. This is a Lear one, so not a 10 back. It is unpunched and it's in okay shape. I mean, cart's a bit wave, but if I can pop this one in one of those protective cases, it stands a very good chance of keeping itself, you know, complete and standing the test of time. I do think the bow has fallen down in this one inside the bubble, so that's a bit unfortunate, but other than that, it's fun fun. I, I owned it as a kid, so why not? A really bad shaped, uh, wacky action Leonardo. Sword slicing Leonardo. I hate. <laughs> I, I really don't like the sculpt they did with this face. This face is like, I don't want to be here. Um, so this was, yeah, uh, a mutant action. This was a wacky action teenage mutant hero turtle from a Holland uh, store, Bart's Mitt. So they actually had it out for one 139 Gulda, I guess back in the day is what they called it. Yeah I Do like the artwork they popped on the back over here. Then we got this wacky action Sewer swimming Donatello. So he had like a action. He was basically like a bat toy a bathtub toy a wind-up bathtub toy is what he was well, Do love the artwork again on this one. So that's basically why I do it I, I, I really do appreciate having them on card, but it, it would have been so much better if these came in a box or like a blister you could open up and reseal again. That would make it so much more fun and I wouldn't have to go out buying all of these on card and then again, loose, complete. Here we have kind of a special one. This one has been kind of going up in price. We got one of the Wacky Walking Mousers. Now this was an early release in the Wacky Action toy line. I would love to have one of these loose or maybe an army of mousers, but yeah, you never see these out in the wild, honestly. Um, if, if I'm ever gonna find one of these, it's gonna be over at a convention. I'm probably gonna have to pay a pretty good amount to get my hands on them. This is the Ninja Turtle release, so this is the American release. One more wacky action figurine. This is Rock and Roll Michelangelo. When I owned as a kid, loved it. The blister on this one, well, the bubble on this one is kind of yellowed and, you know, the color is kind of sun faded off of this thing over here, but it's a hero card. So uh, a hero card that came from Germany because it has German writings all over there. And then we're going to get into some more of the toys I owned as a kid. This was one I loved. These are the Sewer Sport All-Stars. They had so many turtles playing sports that came out. It's, it's pretty amazing. You should look it up. Um, this one I owned as a kid, like I said before, um, he had like an action where you could pop, you know, either this rugby ball or this, you know, football on uh, his hand and it would throw it away. He also came with a pizza slice, you know, for turtles, that's always good. And he came with a helmet. Yeah. This thing is cool as well. He had something to cut out, which is probably why lots of these cards didn't survive. Oh, one of my favorite figurines of all time, Triceraton, not one I had as a kid. I do own him complete now, and I had to get this guy on card as well. So when this one popped up in a lot I was trying to buy, I was like, yeah, just throw them in and, you know, it'll divide up the shipping even more and I can get these. Not in the best shape, but definitely still an okay figure for this playing or just to have in my collection because it's, yeah, it's, it's cool, it's cool. Love that figurine. Also, you had to like still pop on his tail. Some assembly was required for Triceraton back in the day. Then this is like kind of an odd thing. So these are ninja cards, um, which indicates that they are from the USA. Uh, yeah, so these are the USA ones, but they're not movie stars. I, I do really m remember seeing these like on movie star cards, but I might be wrong. Um, as you can tell over here, you see 
as seen in the Turtle 2 movie, The Secret of the Ooze, which, yeah, this is pretty nice. I love the figurines, obviously. When you watch the movie, you wanted to have these figurines to play with. And yeah, Razor was a cool one. So I had to grab Toka as well. Love that he came with the black weapons, which is really badass. He came with like the same belt that, you know, Slash came with. So it was always kind of confusing when you didn't see the movie yet. Like, is this Slash or is this like another figurine? I wasn't sure. Toka the Sinister Snappin' Turtley. We got two more cards and this video is gonna be done, my dudes. This is Slapshot Leo, another one I had as a kid. Yeah, I wasn't really into hockey, but uh, you know, he looked cool. He had like this swinging action. It came with a stick. Obviously, these little pucks is something you would lose right away. Uh, yeah, card is, you know, has been a bit bent over the years, but still a good one to own. And then the last figurine, one of my childhood favorites, is Muckman, also coming with his sidekick, Joe Eyeball cool thing about Muckman was that you could, you know, the cool thing about Muckman is that you could, you know, pour slime into him and it would, you know, flow through his, 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 his middle piece, like his belly button, it would flow through that, it would come out of his mouth because you could, you know, take his, his, his head, you could take like the part of his head up there off, like the banana part there, which was really cool. Again, I love the artwork on these brick cards right there. Yeah. Here's a little bit more in detail what you could do with those. I am realizing right now that I still need Pizza Face for my collection. That's one I own as a kid, one I definitely need to get, need to be on the lookout for. So yeah guys, that was my card of TMNT figures collection tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're looking for more 80s and 90s toy and retro game related content, I put out videos weekly, so definitely leave a like, maybe subscribe to the channel, and share this to one of your TMNT buddies. I will see you in the next video. Bye!